Hello my good people, welcome to another episode of Farm with Paul. And today, I want us to talk more about silage. What is silage? How is silage beneficial to your own cows? And why it is important for any uh, dairy farmer to actually preserve silage? Silage is basically a method of preservation when we preserve our feeds when they have optimum nutrients so that they can be maintained for a very long time and actually be fed all along the year. The meaning of actually preserving silage is to ensure we have sustainable feeding all throughout the year and the quality of the feeds is maintained. How do we preserve silage and how is it very important in the dairy industry? Because most of the people have been asking what is silage and what is silage making? One of the most important things about silage is we ensure the quality is maintained by actually compacting and reducing the amount of air. Some of the forages that you can actually preserve by the means of silage include napier grass, maize, sorghum, and some grains such as the oat and wheat. For you to obtain maximum productivity in silage, some factors have to be considered, which include the method of compacting and chopping your own fodder. The science behind silage making is by use of something we call the lactic acid. Lactic acid RBF is produced by beneficial bacteria that are readily available in the plants. So what happens is lactic acid are not friendly with the oxygen. That is why during silage making, we actually compact to reduce the amount of uh, oxygen in the fodder. The other part is we make sure that we chop our silage for easy compacting. There are several methods that one can use in making the silage. One, you can use a pit. Well, by construct a pit and actually preserve your silage. The other method you can use uh, wooden boxes. You can use uh, wooden. You can use the nylon bags, or you can actually use the balers, which can be used to preserve the same same silage. The only thing that uh, is common in all of them is to attain maximum retention of all the nutrients as they were harvested from the farm. So silage is one of the things that a far dairy farmer or even a DRB farmer cannot be able to avoid as it's a practice that is very good to be able to have sustainable feeding of your animals on a constant diet. In silage making, the bacteria producing lactic acid are the most important. This is because these bacteria produce the lactic acid which reduce the pH level of your forage to below 5 uh, to below 5 pH. This will help and reduce fermentation and in the process preserving your own silage for a very long time as long as it stays airtight and free from water. This method is does not actually add the value of your fodder. When making silage, the value uh, the harvesting time is what matters, but preserving silage does not actually change the condition at which your fodder was harvested from the farm. So make sure whenever you're preserving your fodder, it's at the optimum stage, whereby all the nutrients are readily available. Because the main aim is to ensure they stay for a very long time in that forage and to have a sustainable supply of the same same nutrients to your animals for a whole year or two or as long as you can be able to preserve the silage. The main important things when it comes to silage is avoiding excessive oxygen and excessive water in the silage. That is why we advise farmers to actually wilt some of their crops to a below 70% water so that that silage can be able to stay for a quite some time. One thing that most farmers have been asking is if feeding silage will increase milk production. And my simple answer is a yes or a no. For example, if the silage is harvested at the best stage and preserved, and previously those animals were feeding on poor quality fodder, definitely your cows will increase in production. But if you harvest your fodder at the wrong stage or when they are already overgrown, that means the nutrient availability in those crops won't be available to your cow. Hence, even feeding it as a silage will not lead to milk, uh, to increase in milk production. So. For you to have a very good quality silage, 
make sure you harvest your crops at the optimum stage depending on the crop variety and also ensure it's preserved at the right stage very well compacted and avoid using excess water when making silage some additives are actually added like the molasses which provide sugar for the bacteria that produce the lactic acid some of the other additives are you that are actually used in the silage making are a source of lactic acid which help in actually fastening the process at which your silage uh, matures and it will approximately take 21 days for you to start feeding your own silage depending on the inoculant or the uh, or the inoculant that you used in making the silage in this part in here in the farm we use silage basically from the maize and the best stage is we harvest our maize at the dough stage that means it does not go it's not very hard and it's not quite uh, milky it's at the middle and after that we chop it into small pieces at least uh, half an one inch to a half an inch that will help actually in compacting and also chopping helps the bacteria in the cow's rumen to actually work on the fodder and produce all the nutrients required by the cow when it comes to have uh, to actually harvesting your silage they should have a very sweet smell and at least yellowish in color that means your cow will enjoy feeding on it and all the nutrients should be available in the same same silage silage from maize and other crops can be used as the main forage source for your animals all around the year that means if preserved with the best nutrients it can be able to sustain even the young uh, young animals heifers and even the milkers for a very long time in our next video we're going to make silage using super napier and also add on energy and from our previous video we said that super napier contains a considerable amount of protein but is low in energy and how do we make silage and improve on the energy content in the super napier make sure you follow us as we make silage from the start to the end and after this after 21 days we are going to show you on what are the results and what we harvested and how we feed our own cows on the same don't forget to subscribe at farm with paul